Hey, I'm Christopher Gorham from Netflix's Insatiable, and I got tricked into running the New York City Marathon. I need help. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what I need. I don't know how to start training for a marathon. I have 10 weeks until the New York City Marathon. It's on November 3rd. I feel like I should get new shoes. I've been like wearing these old Nikes for 10 years maybe. That's not gonna do it. So I'm gonna go and find uh, a running store here in my community uh, and see if they can fit me. Coming in here to get shoes to train. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> so what this device is gonna do is uh, measure your pressure points on your feet. Yep. Just to give us an idea what kind of size, width, length, and maybe if we need any support in the arm. I feel like I failed today. <laughs> Both of them? No. This one? That one is 200 and this one is 160. Oh my god! <laughs> this marathon has turned into an expensive proposition. Goodbye, old friends. Welcome, new friends. Not just because they're cheaper, but. Not not because they're cheaper. Agent, hey, thanks yes. for your help. Appreciate it, Christopher. Thank you for the purchase. All right, you bet. <sighs> now I have no excuse. <laughs> also, um, I need a coach. So I have reached out to my son Ethan's track coach, uh, Kenny Aladifa, who is an amazing human being. He ran two Olympics for Nigeria. And as if that wasn't enough, he's also an ER trauma surgeon. So I feel like when my body inevitably uh, gives up and starts to break down, he'll be there uh, to uh, sew me back together. Hi, my name is Kenny. And I'm gonna be Chris coach as he prepared for New York Marathon. All right. It's not going to be easy, <laughs> but I think he can do it. I am two miles into my three miles. I had to walk. Picking the run back up again in three, two, one. Three miles. Not good. Ran the first two without stopping. Number three. I was walking like a quarter of a lap each lap for the last four. They would. Oh my god. I finished. I don't know. Feels like 30 seconds ago. But I've been done for how long have I been done? About 20 minutes. It's not bad. Really? No, not at all. So the Kenyans, they don't get to that level overnight. Yeah. It's years of years of repetitive running. Well, that's good because I've got 10 weeks, so I'm... Exactly, we have 10 <laughs> weeks. That's a lot of time. All right, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I ran most of it, and now, every time I stand up, I feel like I'm going to pass out. How long does that last? <laughs> I have another question, because after just 12 laps, I, I had to pee badly. I'm really now concerned. How do they have, like, porta-potties along yes. the marathon? Yes, they do. They do? Yes. 1992 Olympics. Yeah. Coming to the stadium, she had diarrhea, yeah. running down. In my You're saying I might poop myself in the rain. No, if you feel like you are going to go, yeah. go. Don't yeah. hold it because okay. it's going to come out. Yeah. We're going to rest tomorrow, yeah. but we're going to do a different time of endurance tomorrow. All right. He will run it. Yeah. All right, day two. I've been assigned running the outer loop at the park, and then we're going up to the hill. We'll do some hill training. <laughs> Sounds horrible. At least it's pretty. This is lap one. I don't think I'm lost. Finishing lap two. Here we go. I did my two laps around the park. I'm giving it a cool down walk back over the hill because I'm scared. And I'm old and I'm tired. 
We are going to go into more specific. I hear run. Okay. Tempo running. That means we have 20 minutes continuous running up and down the hill. From that stop sign up to the last cone. Your pace still. The last cone, that's way up there. The one I can barely see. Where? Yes. So, it's tempo run. All right. So, today's workout was cut short because I forgot I had to take Alo to an appointment. Parenting is going to be an obstacle. Day three, early morning, sunrise, three mile run. <sighs> three miles without stopping this time. So, improvement. 26 minutes. It's much better than I thought it was gonna be. All right, time for shower. Good morning. It is day four. I started running before the sun came up. Ran 3.1 miles, 32 minutes, which is about what I thought it should be. But I gotta say, I'm feeling stronger already. It's not a great time, but finished, didn't have to stop. I even had something left in the tank at the end, so I feel pretty good. But you know, it's 6 a.m., so we'll see how the day goes. Warm up lap around the park, and then it's stairs that I'm scared of the stairs. <laughs> oh my God. I just got to the top once, and I'm dying. Trying to really take advantage of the recovery on the way down because going up's brutal. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, how, that was 20 minutes? Yeah, that was 20 minutes. So tired. How do you feel? So tired. Uh, that's nothing. Three lap, cool down. Three lap. Okay. Easy. Now, this is your time yeah. to recover. Okay. And think about what you're doing. All right, day five. Uh, yesterday evening, after the stairs, I felt like my hip was sore and I couldn't tell if it was muscular or if something was going on. And so I decided to not do an early morning long run today and just kind of rest it because it is only week one. But it feels better this morning, so I'm going to go and do just a one mile kind of warm up and then do some lifting. Try to get it out before it gets too hot. <sighs> All right, I'm here with uh, Julian and Lenny Fetter. And we're down in San Diego. We're gonna do beach training today. We gotta do a timed one mile three times uh, down the beach. It's gonna be great, no problem. All right, that's one mile down. We ran a little too far, so my time was like 9.43. It's all that. Why are you laughing? That's my best mile time ever. That's like a C in school. You would, you would get a C. Yeah, for a high school student, it's for a C, but how about for a 45 year old man? Better, maybe C. B, maybe solid B. We'll try again. Number two, coming up. All right, well, that's the end of week one. How was that, babe? Um, well, remember when I said I was really supportive and... Uh -huh. um, yeah, I remember that. I am supportive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just that your planning was not on point. <laughs> In our shared calendar, we had mm -hmm. set two dates. Dates. Very important. With friends. Wait, why are they air quote dates? It was a little rough this week. Physically, it was a little rough was for rough. me. Day one, like I thought my hips were gonna uh, fall off. Like, I, I mean, it was literally my first run at the track. I hips ran don't lie. three miles around the track. I couldn't even finish. I had to like walk a lot of the third mile around the track and finished and my hips were so tight and hurting. I thought like, there's just, there's no way this is gonna work. But I did all 16 miles uh, for the week. That's the goal for the first two weeks, but I was, exhausted and I've been figuring out day to day 
how to schedule these runs, when I'm gonna have to do them. It's before everyone wakes up every day. <laughs> the rest of the calendar year, Chris is gone for like five or six months on, you know, in Atlanta doing like a TV show. Normal husbands <laughs> and wives who've yeah. been married for over 20 years yeah. mm -hmm. get to see their partners for dinner every day, for breakfast every day. So when he's home, you know, like when we have dates, they're like, I see them as like really important. So this week I had to adjust that. I was texting Michelle, Dr. Michelle Kong, you know, and I noticed that she's training for an ultra marathon because she's an ultra marathoner. And that's crazy. like where you run like a hundred miles. Why would you like, do that? Like that's insane. And I was like, oh my, like how, how do you train for this? Like where, where do you find the time? But I think she said she wakes up at like 3.30 or 3.45 and then I just, that stuff just blows my mind. It, it was, it was, a, it was, it's a big transition. It's a, it's a, it it's was. a big commitment. And on top of it, like committing to do this YouTube project version to help raise money for Culture City, like I really just leapt into that too. Like I ran out and bought a GoPro and then I ran out and got this, this big drop and like I'm hauling in all of this like equipment into toys. the house and like building things. It looks like a film school. Only week one. We have nine more weeks before this race. And also I'm not used to lights like this. I just feel like lights like this are very intense. You put, you look in the beautiful house. Beautiful in it. <laughs> I'm kind of getting used to looking at it like this. I mean, we may have to. <laughs> oh my God.